Hello everyone, I'm BadNobyX and welcome back to another tutorial. So, off of the title of the video you should understand that we're going to go over foliage again. So, I've seen a few issues of people running into more foliage problems. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to optimize and use it. Alright, so there's an, it's pretty easy to use foliage. You just go to the one that you have, then you drop it in here. And the foliage is you want to use. You can also use bushes and stuff, but I'm not going to go over that right now. So. Here's your size of the radius that you can place it in. Here's the density. Now a lot of people run into the issue of being able to paint on static meshes and stuff when they don't want to. So as you can see, it's now painting on my trees and my rock and stuff. So I haven't done a very beautiful scene here. It's just something I threw together. But as you can see, it painted on the rock. We don't want that. We want it to paint this beautiful scene. So the problem is, is as you saw up there at the corner, if I go to filter, it has static, BSP, foliage, and landscape. So if I take off static meshes, give it a moment, and now it won't go on top of the static meshes. See? That's how you get rid of it painting on top of your static meshes. That's one of the big problems I saw running into. So there's some leftover residue on that rock. But as you notice, if you paint, it doesn't go on the rock, it doesn't go on the trees or anything. It completely fixes that problem. So that's how you get it to not go on top of uh, rocks. Now, well, on top of meshes in general. So, on top of that, there's another problem that people run into, and if I flow this a lot, it looks pretty lush and beautiful, right? All right, so to go ahead and make this all work, because if I go to build lighting, I'm not gonna build it all the way, I'm gonna build it for a moment, and then I'm gonna stop the build. And it's gonna come up with a few errors. So, the total light map size of the uh, instance mesh is too large. Alright, so how you fix that is you actually go into your foliage, you click on each individual one, you can do it all at once, or you do it one at a time. And then right here, there's a light map resolution. You click that and you can lower it down to four. You can't go any lower. And that will get rid of that error for you. That's how you get rid of that. Quick, simple fix. Now, if you watch, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to optimize this a little as well. So. You know how to place it, you know how to get it in a radius. So let's go ahead and place it all over, get it really dense to the point where it starts lagging the computer. All right, so let's go a little bit farther. All right. All right, so normally you would start getting performance issues for a lot of lower end computers. So how you can actually fix that, oh, I actually need to be in the tab. How you could fix that is actually going down onto each one, and if you scroll down, you'll see this little option uh, for cold distance. Uh, right here, cold distance. It's set to zero and zero. So if I actually give this a number, it lowers how far away it will render the grass. So if I set this to, let's say, 200, let's go with 500. As you can see, it's far enough that I, can, I can't tell that it's cutting off, but it's still not going as far as it can possibly go. This actually lowers how much of it has to load in at a time, and it massively increases how well your game will perform. These are just a few little tricks that I wanted to go ahead and go over you with. They're, just, they're simple, they're not that hard to do. Now, there is one other thing that I want to hit that I've hit on a few videos that is just really important, so I always want to go over it. So if you go into the, the model, then you have to scroll down. Make sure to do this. See where it says small prop on the LOD group? Make sure to change that to foliage. If you don't do this, then when your grass builds, it will turn black. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and build this because there's so much grass, it's going to take a while. But a lot of your grass will build and turn pure black. So make sure to change the LOD groups to foliage if you're using them as foliage. Other than that, that's all I'm going to go over today. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and uh, I'm glad to be back. Uh, good luck game developing. 